Oops. Uh, instructions are gone, but we're asked to find um, the six trigonometric function values for A. And that's important that they're talking about that they say A because these values would all be different if we look from this angle's perspective. Okay. Um, so the first thing you need to do uh, is to find the missing side because for some of the trig, uh, the trig functions, like sine of an angle, it needs to know what's opposite of the angle and then divide by the hypotenuse. And the hypotenuse is missing. We're missing the thing that's across from the right angle. All right. So to figure that out, we can use the Pythagorean theorem that 4 squared plus 10 squared equals this c squared. So we've got 16 plus 100 makes c squared. Or in other words, uh, 100 plus 16 makes 116. If you take the square root, this equals the square root of 116. I think that can be simplified a bit too. Like 116, uh, what you want to do when you simplify um, square roots is you want to see if you can pull out a perfect square root from it, like the square root of 4, the square root of 9, the square root of 16. If I take 116, if I divide it by 4, I get 29. So look, this is the same as the square root of 4 times the square root of 29. And the whole reason I pulled out a 4 is because I know what the square root of 4 is. It's 2. So that's the simplified version of the hypotenuse here. Okay, so to do sine, sine of a means it's the opposite of a. So that would be 10 is opposite of angle a. Divide by the hypotenuse of the triangle. And then that can be simplified because you get 10 over 2. That makes 5 over 1. So there's your simplified answer. And I'm going to show you how to type it in Mobius too in just a second. But cosine of angle theta is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So the adjacent side is the one that's not the opposite and the one that's not the hypotenuse. So this is our adjacent side. So cosine of A is 4 divided by 2 square roots of 29. That simplifies to be uh, 2 over the square root of 29. Tangent of theta is the opposite over the adjacent. So the opposite side is 10. The adjacent side is 4. So if you simplify that fraction, it's 5 over 2. Now look, secant, cosecant, cotangent are a lot easier once you have the first three, once you have sine, cosine, tangent, because secant is 1 over cosine. Cosecant is 1 over sine. Cotangent is 1 over tangent. So they're basically the flips, the flip version of these uh, fractions that we have up here. So since secant and cosecant are reciprocals, I'm just going to flip cosine here. It's the square root of 29 over 2. Uh, cosecant is the flip version of sine, so that's square root of 29 over 5. Cotangent's the flip version of tangent, so it'll be 2 over 5. Okay, now for typing these, oh, no, come back. For typing these in Mobius, uh, since, you know, you could use those buttons to help you look at the fractions before you submit, hit submit, make sure they all look the same, but sometimes even when you look at it, something subtly is missing so that it marks it wrong when actually you have the right answer. And if that happens, like, uh, like always, I'll give you credit for it. But, um, Okay, so for sine of A, I type this as a 5, and then put the division symbol, and then I'm going to protect my denominator in a parentheses, and it's okay to have as many spaces as you want there. I'm going to type SQRT 29 to represent the square root of 29. And for cosine, I'm going to type in 2 oh, with parentheses, just in case, and then a parentheses to protect my denominator, and I type in SQRT 29. And then for tangent, it's 5 divided by 2. I really don't think the parentheses are necessary for those, but you know we don't want Mobius to get too picky with us. So. Uh, SQRT 29, that's my numerator. Divide by 2, my denominator. Got SQRT 29 divided by 5. And then we have 2 divided by 5 here. So there's our final answers.